Forrester here, and that was Wonderful by George Gershwin. I haven't played any Gershwin for you yet, but Gershwin is my favorite composer, and you'll probably be hearing more Gershwin in the future. I'm going to try a new format on my videos, and that's playing a short musical introduction on some videos, and then playing the rest of the song at the end of the video for those who are interested. I know not everybody's interested in hearing me play the piano, but some of you are. But this video is about this holster, Raven Concealment Phantom Holsters. I have an FNP9. I've had this for a couple of years, and this is my main home defense handgun. It stays in my bedside table most of the time, and I keep this Streamlight TLR3 light attached to the gun at all times. I did a video back on May the 18th, 2012, almost one year ago, about the limited holster options for this gun especially when you put that light on it. And I had two suggestions at, on that video. One is for Raven concealment holsters that I might want to give them a try. And the other is for this Kydex Tech holster. And you can see I tried one of both. Now I've done a couple of reviews of this Kydex Tech holster and it's a fine holster. It works well for me. But for some reason I've had this Raven concealment holster and I just haven't gotten around to doing a review of it or a more detailed review. I think I've shown it on a couple of videos. But first of all, let's look at the uh, fit and retention of the gun. It really goes in with a solid feel. Let's try that again. It fits firmly in there and it has excellent retention. Now that's with the light on. If you watch a video that I did recently, I took the light off and that was answering a question by one of the viewers and it didn't have any retention at all with the light off. But I went to Raven Concealment's website and they say on their website that they don't recommend using this holster if you take your light off. They make another holster for the gun without the light. Now the materials that this Raven Concealment are made from are extra thick. It's .08 inches thick and that's opposed to the Kydex Tech holster that's .06 inches thick. But I will say this Kydex Tech holster does come in thicker material. This was my option to get it in thinner material just for this gun. So the thickness of the material I think is an advantage. I like that better than the thinner material. The retention is excellent. The finish is excellent. There are no sharp edges anywhere. And I think you might even be able to tell in the light that they're, they, the edges almost seem polished. But it's got excellent quality. There's good definition where all the different components of the gun fit. The screws, for your interest, are Phillips head. And they're in there firmly. This is made for outside the waistband carry. And the design, I think, is excellent. It covers the trigger guard. One thing I, I don't really know why, but it does stand out just a little bit here. I would think that could be a little closer to the gun. One thing I do like though is how it fits flush up here with the back of the slide. It covers everything that needs to be covered and it gives full protection to the side of the gun uh, to prevent moisture from damaging it from your body. Now, a downside to this gun was the cost, or excuse me, to this holster was the cost. This uh, holster cost $90 from Raven Concealment, and that was opposed to about half the price for Kydex Tech. So you pay double for this particular holster. I also got a double mag carrier from Raven Concealment. The quality is just as good. Now I got this to where the, the rounds actually point forward. I think most of them are done that way. One thing I like and the reason I got this is each of these have a 16 round capacity. So that's 32 rounds here and then another 16 in the gun. So that's uh, adequate capacity for any, any use that I would have. But uh, the holster, excuse me, the holster was $90 and the mag carrier was $65 with discounts and with shipping together this was hundred and forty five dollars from Raven Concealment. Just to recap a little bit the positives of the Raven Concealment 
One positive we're really of both is that they're all weather. That's an advantage of Kydex material for a holster. If I had to use this gun in an emergency and it was raining, like it has been this weekend, uh, it might ruin the leather holster. Kydex would hold up much better. Another is the excellent fit and finish, really of both of these, but the Raven Concealment has excellent fit and finish. The negatives, high cost. If you get a Raven Concealment holster, you're going to pay probably double what you would from some other manufacturers like Kydex Tech. And then the long wait. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I ordered this Raven Concealment holster on August the 11th. And it was actually shipped to me, both of these together, on November the 15th. And I got it several days after that. So it was more than a three-month wait. Raven Concealment has a motto, copied by many but equaled by none. Now, in terms of quality, maybe they do have a lot of, of holster manufacturers that are copying them. I don't know on the quality of um, the different materials. These are similar. I could have gotten this in thicker material, but these have similar quality. I really don't see a big difference, and definitely not enough difference to uh, pay twice as much for the Raven Concealment. The other thing is that this holster came in in two weeks. So I ordered it and two weeks later I had it. This one I ordered it and almost forgot about it. It was over three months later. So I'm pleased with both, but you have to understand uh, some of the what you're dealing with if you do order a Raven Concealment holster. You're going to wait a while and you're going to pay a little bit more for the name. But there you have it, Raven Concealment holster, phantom holster. Now, for those of you who are interested, enjoy the rest of So Wonderful. Mm -hmm.